And it was another hot Saturday across South Florida. Temperatures running about 10 degrees above average for this time of year. But if you don't like the heat, we'll hang in there because we're looking at some big changes as we come into Sunday and Monday too. So here's the scene from Delray Beach Day. A little video for you just showing uh, a beautiful day out there. And uh, the flag was blowing. We can get this to start for you. Uh, we'll put that into motion. And uh, well, let's go to the Almanac. 89 today for the high uh, almost set a record, but not quite. The record was 90 back in 1953 and our morning low this morning was 68 degrees. Now uh, for Vero Beach, 88 degrees, low of 63. Right now, current temperatures city by city, 83 in Boca, 82 in Boynton Beach, Jupiter, 84, 81 in Stewart, 86 Vero Beach and Okeechobee, 83. So very warm evening out there continues and you can see our winds basically out out of the south southwest. That's the predominant wind flow and that's a very warm wind flow across the area because it creates a land breeze. So instead of our winds coming off the cooler ocean waters moves over land and heats us up. Here's where we will wake up Sunday morning. So pretty mild along the coast of Palm Beach County, upper 60s there, low 60s for the Treasure Coast and inland. We'll see some chillier temperatures, 59 degrees in Bell Glade and 57 degrees for the folks in Okeechobee. So it will uh, not warm up much from there. In fact, some folks will hit their daytime high in the morning and then it's going to get cooler throughout the afternoon. Here's the cold front. It's on its way and we are going to see some rain ahead of it and along with it over the next several days. Now, right now, pretty quiet on Viper radar, just a few tiny little showers uh, showing up. So we're going to be mainly dry tonight. If you have plans to head out and about, it's not going to be a bad night for you. Just a few a little spotty showers. But as we head into uh, tomorrow and then into Monday morning, we could see some heavier rainfall amounts. So I want to show you severe outlook for tomorrow. We're not expecting severe weather, but this light shading of green that indicates where we could see a few uh, just general garden variety thunderstorms. Also, as we head into Monday, it keeps it just along the East Coast, a threat of a few storms. Now, we're not expecting strong storms, so the major impacts would be some localized flooding possible, lightning we put at the moderate category, and uh, there could be some gusty winds as uh, there is a tight pressure gradient setting up, and so we are expecting wind gusts at times upwards of 30 miles per hour. So on the drop monitor, you can see we really do need the rain. A lot of us either under moderate drought or severe drought West Palm Beach more than six inches below where we should be for this time of year. So for tonight, spotty showers, 69 degrees, winds out of the southwest at 15. Now tomorrow, not likely to see this much sunshine, but it will be windy. Showers and stray storms possible, a high of 75 degrees with winds out of the north at about 20. So small craft advisory out there, surf three to five feet. And if you're headed to the beach, remember rip currents will be high. So uh, only swim at guarded beaches and for the the boaters best bet probably not to take the boat out tomorrow. Here's your seven day forecast. And as you can see, spring begins Monday actually.